In today's video, I'm showing you how to untangle a toddler's beautiful, thick, and strong 4C hair. If you're interested, then just keep on watching. So I'm starting off, this is dry hair that was up in a bun and I just pulled it apart and I'm pouring all over it Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner and I'm just going to pull it through. I'm not really concerned how white it's going to turn the hair. I'm not washing it. I'm literally just conditioning it. His hair had already been washed the day before so now I'm just running this product through. I'm going to add some extra virgin olive oil to his hair. There's all types of different oils that you can use, but I like to use extra virgin olive oil. I find that it works the best for us. And I'm just going to pull that all through his hair. As you notice, I didn't put any water in his hair. I just did this all on dry hair. And so I'm going to continue to pull it until it's fluffy and bouncy. So now that we're all conditioned, I'm going to take a detangling comb. This particular comb, I love. It's made by my stylist. It's her own design and it just works great for his hair, about it, especially for his hair because obviously my hair is locked. But my son has my type of hair and so I know what I'm dealing with because I've dealt with it all my life. And I love this comb and one of the tricks that I do is I leave his hair sectioned when it's being washed, when it's being conditioned. I try to take my time running through his hair to make sure that all the sections still stay in. So if you notice, it's kind of still already parted. So I'm just taking each one of those sections and I'm pulling the comb through. I'm making sure to leave my hand in a fist at the root of his hair so that when I'm pulling on the ends, he can barely feel it. Now, my son is tender-headed just like I was when I was his age. And so whenever you're tender-headed, no matter what type of method you use, you're still gonna feel it a little bit. But using this method really helps. If you notice, it's easy for me to comb through it because it has been overly conditioned. And again, I'm not worried about how much product I put in because I know my hair type and I know my son's hair type. Our hair is very thick, very porous, and it will soak in whatever type of product I put on it. So you'll notice by the end of this video, all of that product is completely soaked into his hair and it looks beautiful. Now, as I'm going through, I am straightening up the parts a little bit just so that it can look sort of decent. I'm not really trying to style it per se. I'm just trying to separate the sections off. you'll notice that every time I part the hair, I brush through it and I also pull through each of those sections of hair so that I can make sure I get any other knots that might be there as well. And when I find a knot, instead of combing through the knot, I will pull the individual strands of hair that are loosed from the knot and then I'll pull the knot through to the end of his hair and pull it out of his hair. And so I'm just gonna do that for his entire head, twisting his hair as I go through so that I can separate the untangled hair from the rest of the hair. And I must add that, don't be talking about my baby edges. I know his edges ain't together. The reason why they're not is because for the last year, his dad had been um, shaving the sides, which is actually really cute, but I asked him, to stop shaving them so that they can grow out because I miss his hair around the edges. So we're gonna let that grow back out. So I'm just gonna go through his whole hair following this process.
And for those wondering of the rat tail that I'm using, it is by Pattern Beauty. It is their edge control brush. I honestly think this is the best edge control brush I have ever used. It is literally just like a toothbrush. However, it is much more sturdier than a toothbrush. I mean, it is thick and it's firm. And if you were trying to lay some edges, this is the brush for you. But it's more than just, you know, an edge brush. It has the rat tail on the end and it has a comb on the other side as well. So I'm nearly to the halfway point and I just kind of wanted to show you up close what I'm doing. Again, you can wear this as a style, he definitely does, but this is definitely something that you can do just to untangle your baby's hair. Two of the products that I love to use are Rock the Locks Not So Matty Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. Another conditioner that we've been enjoying is Pattern Beauty Leave-In Conditioner as well. Now that conditioner is very thick. It's thick kind of like the Cantu Leave-In Conditioner is. However, what I like to do is pour it into the bottle that Pattern Beauty sells. Although I didn't buy Pattern Beauty's bottle, I actually bought my bottle on Amazon. It's the same bottle. It's a continuous mist. I love it. And so the white bottle that you see me spraying, that's actually what I'm using. And it just helps to keep his hair moisturized as I'm going through it. I know you're thinking, girl, that is a lot of product you put in his hair. But again, very thick hair, very porous hair, and it soaks all the product up. I promise you the next morning I have to moisturize his hair again because that's just how thick the hair is. If you notice, I usually give him his iPad when I get to the back part of his hair. That way he's normally looking down and I can access that part of the hair more easily. It's also helpful to have them in a stool or a high chair or something like that if your child is younger. But he's three and propping him up on some fluffy pillows in between mama's legs. I mean, that's the way my mama used to do it. And so that's just what we know and it works. So this is the finished product of me detangling his entire head. And this entire process took me two hours from the time that he was in the bathtub to the time that I finished. Um, if you wanna make, you can wash it same day. It's just that his father had already washed his hair the day before. So this is how I'm going to let him wear his hair for a little while. Um, my favorite style on him has been cornrows that his grandmother put in. They look so beautiful on him but I really want all his edges to go back so that we can start doing that again. This is all the hair and the knots that came out of detangling his hair. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, give it a big thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next video.